The license to operate for a popular scooter brand in East Lansing could soon be coming to an end. City Council members are expected to review a report highlighting city ordinance violations by spin scooters along with recommendations. Josh Sanchez is here for you now live from East Lansing with more on this. Hi Josh. Yeah, Sherry, Siobhan, one of the issues brought up by city officials is that these scooters are not being left in their proper designated parking spots. And we found this scooter a significant walk away from where it should be at, along with the dead battery. Now, back in September, the city manager revoked the license for spin to operate within the city of East Lansing. But the service continued as the company as company officials appealed the decision. Now, a report put together by a city hearing officer was completed last month as part of that appeal. He writes that the company violated three city ordinances, and those include not picking up the scooters from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., and abandoned scooters were blocking sidewalks. Now, some people I spoke with today find the scooters convenient, while others do make a note of them winding up outside of those designated parking spots. Because I always see them all over the place. Like, they're in here a lot, like, in those little banks, and, like, they're on the sidewalks, they're just on the ground, like, laid down. And I think that can get annoying, and I do think it can be a hazard, especially for people who aren't necessarily looking where they're going. Now, while the city hearing officer says that the city uh, that the city does have the ability to revo revoke Spin's license, <laughs> he says he mentioned that the company officials might not have fully been understanding that if they violated the city ordinances on electric scooters, that it could end with their license being revoked. Now, he recommends a con conditional reinstatement of that license to give company staff an opportunity to follow the rules and we'll see if the city council goes for that decision later tonight. Here for you in East Lansing, Josh Sanchez, 6 News.